so this one's called anxiety is your strength and uh, I suppose before I start I'll say like it's this will not apply to everybody uh, but I'd imagine it'll apply to most people so like a lot of people suffer with anxiety these days I, I know I have used to take like panic attacks and all that and I think more and more even young people, old people, ev everybody gets it at some point and it's to me it's looked down as like it's some kind of illness or something and I suppose if it's severe, like if you've got it severe then I suppose can like getting some medication and that would probably help but for me because I've suffered with it for years I like came up with my own ways of dealing with it and what I did was I turned it into like a strength rather than like it's seen as a weakness so I've turned it into like a strength and uh, what I mean by that is if you think about it if you can control your anxiety to the level so it's not overwhelming you it's actually like a good thing uh, like so it, like it'll heighten your senses you'll be more aware of your surroundings like you'll, it's it's like, it's almost like a sixth sense kind of thing, like spidey sense if you want to say. Uh, it's that like I was watching stuff as well, and it's like the CIA like anxious people as well because they're more alert to their surroundings. They're uh, more in tune with stuff. They know what's going on. They notice things that other people don't. So it's all about learning to control your anxiety, and if you can learn to control it then you can use it as a benefit to you and that's like what I've done over the years as well so it, to me it's it's really it's quite like nobody seems to talk about it as like a strength when people talk about anxiety it's always like a bad thing it's an illness you need to try and suppress it but it's actually like in my view it's like a natural it's a natural instinct it's a natural feeling it's, if you're feeling anxious, it's because like you're, you're in a stressful kind of situation. And in the modern world, I suppose we're all kind of locked into these kind of stressful situations, where it be like work, or like your life, like your private life, or your home life, or your work life. And it's not something you can escape from. So it locks you in, and then I think that's where like the anxiety starts overwhelming people. Because there's, it's like, it's like they say it's like the fight or flight so it's like if you were in the the jungle and a tiger jumped out and you you would be anxious and you would run away and once you run away once you ran away your anxiety would calm down whereas in the modern world you, you can't just run away it's like you're anxious about life and work and stress and all this kind of stuff but you can't just run away so like that's how I always thought again it's, it's like you just need to deal with it kind of thing and I don't think like suppressing it like if, if it was severe and it was totally negatively affecting you then maybe suppress it with medication but for me learn to to use it learn to control it and if you can calm it down to a level where you you can manage it you can control it then it can help you even at work and it could help you at work because you could be more focused, more alert, notice more things, like you're just, you're on it kind of thing, whereas other people on maybe no. So like that would be a benefit if you're using your anxiety at work, that would maybe be a benefit for you. You could maybe kind of like get promotions or whatever, or even if you're just out and about these days, I mean look, I'm away in the middle of nowhere kind of thing, just myself. I'm not even 100% sure where I'm at. Uh, <laughs> it's like somewhere on the, the west coast of Scotland. But it's beautiful, like, right? but I'm, I'm just here on my own. And obviously I'll need to sleep here the night and stuff. So technically I should be pretty anxious in that. And I'm not anxious a bit, but it keeps me alert. I'm focused, I know what's running about me. I've had a wee wander about, made some videos. So it's like I'm using it as a, a beneficial thing. I'm not letting it overtake me and to the point where I wouldn't come and do things like this. I would just sit in the house and not want to go out the house kind of thing. I'm not, that's when it gets too much. 
but I'm using it as a beneficial thing so I can ex I can experience stuff like this. And to me, that's it's the best way to do it. It's, there's, it's like, I'm going to do like a, a video about depression as well because again, I think depression is like a natural, a natural reaction to a situation. It's not like, it, it is an illness as such, but it's, it's really just a, your body reacting to your envi to its environment, a bit like anxiety. So I was going to do a video about depression too, but I mean, anxiety, for me, if you can learn to, to like control it, use it to your benefit, even like when I was struggling really bad with it, I used to force myself to do things that I didn't really want to do. It, it, like I used to force myself to do things that made me anxious because that way once I done it then I knew well I done it and nothing bad happened so it was fine and then I built on that you just do, do one, do two, do three, do four and you get to a point where it, you, you're not really that anxious about certain things even if it's like speaking in public or making videos or, or, or just going outside the house or whatever it is just force yourself to do it and then the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then you'll be able to bring that anxiety level down to a point where you can use it to your benefit. And uh, you'll be able to use it throughout your life in all different situations. It's definitely what I do, and it seems to work for me. Like I say, I'm not saying it'll work for everybody. If you're really struggling, obviously you can get medication and stuff to kind of tone it down or block it, the beta blockers. But for me, I'm a big believer in, like, I'm not really keen on medication these days. If I can do it myself or naturally kind of thing, then I will. So for me, that's how I force myself into this. And then I've been on like a journey. And for me, I've turned my anxiety into like a strength to the point where, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's really bad. It's not holding me back anymore, is it? It's, it's beneficial. I'm able to do stuff like this and experience things and stuff. So to me, it is, it's, it's really, if you can do it, like you just need to believe in yourself, can you push yourself? It's a bit like anything in life, like you need to try, you need to try hard and try harder and keep trying and just don't, never give up kind of thing. And you will get there, you will get there. I mean, I've got there and it's, to me, like I say, it's, it's like, it's seen as a negative and I've flipped into a positive and uh, I just thought I would do this video and share it in case any user are struggling or that with anxiety and stuff and just to let you know you can deal with it you can flip it round there is hope and you can do it yourself it's, you don't need to rely on medication and once you do do it you can use it in your life you can use it at work your personal life your home life and you could end up experiencing stuff like this and not, not be too anxious. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a, <laughs> a wee bit anxious in the middle of nowhere on my own, but I mean, it's beautiful. So at least I get to experience stuff like this. But uh, that's this one anyway. So again, I just thought I would do it in case anybody's struggling or you never know, somebody could come across this and really be struggling and it could help them. So like, I, I'm quite, I'm lucky and unlucky in a sense that I've experienced lots of things, good and bad. So I've, I'm quite like, like it's not like I'm talking down to people or whatever, like I have experienced stuff. So I think that's why people kind of respect me and listen to me kind of thing, because I have experienced all these things. And it's for me, it's just, I'm just sharing what I found helpful and again, if you need the medication, you should totally take it and stuff. I'm not like a doctor or anything. Don't listen to doctor, uh, dream keeper or anything like that. But it's just, just some kind of advice, I suppose. But that's that anyway. And I'll just, I'll flip this round and just leave you with a view. So I'll catch you in the next one.